Whoa, we got a complete 1.1 trailer. Uh, so this is the new character, Jinji. Oh wait, this is a story continuation, right? Wait, don't wait. There's no way we get a snowboard. Wait, this looks so good. Horse spring. Okay, this is a real patch. Did it? This Weichi cord and the Sonoro sphere. They are both. Oh, Cheng Li. Are they gonna show us the gameplay? Her gameplay looks so good. This is you. I feel like this gameplay is like so much better aesthetically compared to like every other character we have. This is a this is Gen Two unit, right? This is new Gen Two unit. Okay. Dean saw gameplay. Oh, I think that's an echo. Oh, I wish they would show more about the character. Dude, this story look exciting though. Is it not just a fast spoiler? Okay, that story looked really exciting. Oh yeah, we get a snowboard, see? Wait, tactical hologram ski. Wait, 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 so I'm looking at this. Why do they call it hologram? So this is like a new... New skiing challenge mode? They only showed a little bit, wow. Okay, show us more. But that's so exciting, so funny, so funny. Okay, I think we saw this in the previous step notes a little bit. So these are like new, uh, new puzzle type. Okay. Oh my god, it's a completely new laser puzzle. Leap device. Oh, that's gonna make transversing the world so. Oh wait, this is okay. This is way cooler than I expected. Okay, okay. So they're gonna talk about the new echo. This is the uh, this is the new forecast boss echo. It's gonna be so it's a weekly boss. You can tell because it's a calamity class, and it summoned Jue to attack enemies. So it's probably gonna be a spectral set. You can perform resident skills to still sustain damage over time. Well, this is just a straight AOD summon. This might be one of the best echo in the game that we're gonna get because it doesn't transform you. What? 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 That's a free cost echoes. Okay, this is a new new free cost echo. The Luminate Crusher look like it has a really good AOE. Oh, this one looks not bad. It came up pretty quick. That one came up pretty quick. This one look not bad. Okay, this is what we need. This is this is what we need. We need the new glacial echo to be good for uh Ling Yang. <laughs> Okay, it's not that good. It's trans. Okay, it's it's probably the best glacial free cost echo we're ever gonna get though. It's pretty quick. It's a transformation echo, so it's not that good. But you compare that to either the the dive di the claw. What is that called? The stone sentinel. That's like way better. Stone sentinel is so slow, and the other free cost is also really slow. That might actually be the new best uh, glacial echo right there. Or maybe the one cost. This one is a. Oh, this one does fusion damage. This one's just a fusion echo. Bro, these look like worms. Oh, then show us. And then, of course, we got this echo, which is. I mean, this one is for puzzle solving only. They, they, they remind me of the, the cube from Portos. 
Don, this is a physical or oh, a chicken. Okay, I'm really excited for the four cause boss echo. It looked really strong, actually. All right, we got a new weapon for the five stars. Got the new exploration event. This only unlock after you complete the main story. This one is okay. So we got a new, we got a new depth of losing realm, but right here. And other selectable free cost onset echo. So these two continuously to come and refresh every patch. Alright. And of course we got the Academy is introducing technology simulate. Oh, this is This is a new combat event. Another another selectable uh echo here. And then there's this uh gotcha event kind of for material. And then we got our new lock-in bonus, so we get five total. Oh, we got five event pool and five standard pool. Oh, that's really good. I honestly would prefer if they only give us standard pool because then we can like pump it into the standard banner a little better to get the weapon. But obviously, like event pool is really good to have for your limited characters if you're going for a Jinchi or a Changli. I mean, at least they're giving us lock-in bonus, right? Some other games don't even give us lock-in bonus, so it is what it is. Super exciting for this patch. Oh my god, and we get 30 pool on top of that. We get 30 pool on top of that, so there's 40 pool in totals. 10 more stand- I think at this point, everybody should have their second standard banner weapon. And if you don't know what to go for, I have a separate video, but sword is preferred. Gun followed by the second. Uh, we get 10 limited uh, weapon. I think you should save these. I think if you're a beginner player, you should be saving these, because over time you can probably guarantee a limited weapon pretty easily, and when there's like a really good limited weapon, I think that's the one everyone should be going for. So you probably should save these, uh, and then of course we got the even pool. That's so many pools, 40 pools right off the bat, including the, not including the new area that give you even more asset, right? So I feel like this is so generous, this is so generous, might be the most generous game out there. So super excited for the newest patch, uh, super excited for the new Echo, ooh, we got so much to come, I'll be streaming, on twitch.tv slash games. See you guys.